Hello and welcome to Explain 11. I'm Andy and this is our short flight. We're doing another flight in the Dudeni Challenger 300, which I haven't flown for a year or so, but it's a cool plane, so I thought I would fly it. Uh, external pre flight, let's see. Where do you start? Where's one? Where's one? Looks good. Yeah, I should have turned on the lights or something. The thing you have to remove everything, which I could have missed something in here. I miss. So we we'll just go over here. <laughs> I have to go into the car, sorry. Uh, go into the cockpit here, and I need to turn on the power, which is down here somewhere. Ground power. And we have light somewhere. Lights in here. You put lights in here. I'm missing something. if I could turn on the lights. I don't know what I'm missing here. I'm doing something wrong. As I said, I haven't flown this for years. So. With me. This one seems pretty easy. We remove all of these. Oh, is this a little near? Looking at everything, it's a pretty cool thing there. Uh, the walk around, just knew what to do with everything. There seem to be some parts you just look. So we're looking here. Something we should do on the first one though that I haven't done, so I don't know what that could be. Something on the inside. Yeah, buckles. Good. 
even know what it should be. If I special. Okay, so. Go to cockpit. Okay, so here's a cool part you have up here on instruments. You have it. You can get the icons, so you can see that everything is here. Uh, you can also get a checklist. This is APU and um, mode control panel on MFD CDL panel. Anyway, and. These are safety checked. Um, switch is always checked. Your handle is down. Left and hydraulics pumps are off. So these are here. Off. Air source is off. That's air source is off here. Off. Move this over here. Standby switches on. Uh, standby switches are uh, down here. Left battery is on. Right battery is on. Success is normal. This is the way it should be looking. Lights as required will turn on. Now log beacon. <laughs> and the seat pulse, it's fine. Um, left and right fuel pumps. Auto, please auto. APU, start. So APU is. APU is starting here. So when it started, we just turn everything on, switch battery on, uh, not the battery, switch the rest of the stuff on. So that's running. So electrics, uh, so APU is on, so we can turn on that one. APU is on, Cross bus tire is on, B there. Crossfeed APU normal. So uh, that's good. We press here, click next checklist. So oxygen match Google goggles. Should be down here somewhere. Tiller. Is on bright, doesn't seem very bright though. Nothing seems very bright, but okay. Oxygen quality, that's, I think that's down here somewhere. Oxygen here, auto. Fuel quantity is. Uh, we need to load our flight here. It's a face economy flight. So, start that. We should bring our uh, fuel to. Total fuel 10,061. So, that's way more than we need. That's good. Standby instruments is checked. It looks good. Clock is reset. I don't want to do that. Uh, no wheel steering is here, it's off. Rammer, checked off. Air condition bleeds, checked set. Um, I'll to check that somehow. So, sorry. Um, Pressurization panel that's over here. Looks like it is manual. Could go FMS one. Anti-ice 
looks normal. Before we start engines, probes are off. Uh, so wings are normal. Uh, reversion panel, reversion panel, normal. I don't know what that is. Lights, emergency lights. Let's see. It's down here. Armed. Left hydraulic pump brakes are on. Auto, I mean, sorry. Hydraulic furnace. This looks are off, I think. This is the gust locks here, which are down here, but I don't remember how to get them off. I'm sorry to see. Um, but it, it flies anyway, so engine run switches are off. Uh, off. Trim system. See if I can get the trim set. We'll go a little higher than that. Six point point two. System test is completed. My LT is a scryer. Cabin control is auto. Altimeter is set. Don't actually know if we set altimeters. We'll check our flight here. Nassau and let's see uh, 255. And we'll be runway wind 240. So two five four No no Man it's reset it. Two five five. So uh, FMS Initialize and set it so we'll go in from Nassau and I'll need to update that to so I need to check my flight data. So we're going from Nassau to um, Jamaica to Norman Manley International Kingston, Jamaica MKJP. Um, okay. JP see uh, and we'll go in from our first turn off this light. See our first waypoint is Inamo E N A M O Inamo Inamo By the way I switched from um I only have one screen. I used to have two screens, now I only have one. And then in our so R625. R625. So R625. To NEF2. 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 That was. L four one seven to Radock Radock Radock. So I know so clear that execute and we'll cruise at it's pretty long we'll go with the four zero. It's about an hour flight, a little more than an hour. So, so keep it set. No FMS set. Avionics at V speed is posted. CS bench set. Uh, look, it should be galley CS lights. Oh, turn on the galley lights. We have lights here, right? They're all on cockpit lights. Where would round of pedestal so 
System test. Oh, it's like, it's like, so I guess we need that one, sorry. Okay, so... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I can see. As I said, I haven't flown this in quite some time, that's why I can see. Maybe now if I go back there I could actually see something. Web lights, amazing. Should've done that from the beginning. Um, so, I didn't start. Clearance is brief. Doors are uh, closed. I think I should be able to see that somewhere. That source should be. Mess. How do you select that? I should be able to see that somehow, shouldn't I? Weird. We can set our departure though. Departure will go runway two seven. I think 27 should be equal. I just have to check my uh, mapping. Two seven is that's a really long runway. There should be no issues. So two seven. One, two, three, there we go, two seven. So good. Um, Doors are size closed. Parking emergency brake. I'll just the brake. Parking brake is on. Is uh, it's on here? By the way, this is. Uh, chocks are removed. And gas lugs are off. It's off. I think it's it's off because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. Um, Fast levers idle and in start switches. So these ones are to on, and then you started by turning this one here. So let's start and yeah. So number two is starting. We note make a note of the time, which is zero one. When that's up here, it's running, and everything is looking good. So, right, number one engine starting. Everything is in the green, so there was no issues there. This is going to be our takeoff light. So I can turn it off. We get to that point. So, engines are running. So, next thing we do is turn on the yaw damper, which is over here. Wing and the eyes. On. Probes. Shield flaps are set for takeoff, which is down here somewhere. Hydraulics checked, so the auto, auto, auto is 
electrical. I don't know. How do you get the... Over here somewhere. F normal. Hmm. Be there, switch this on. We'll turn that off because we don't need it. Be off. So hydraulics checked. Um, like I'm going for this check. Well, Others. Flight controls checks, generator switch on. Generators are on. And the, that's the one thing we can see that we're actually having. In, well, maybe I'm here. Sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm, I have this in front of me all the time. Electrics. So, uh, ECS. And the eyes. The controls. So. Spoilers deployed. Spoilers retracted. So trim is set. Departure position. Yes, as quiet. Just as quiet. Passing briefed. Most wheel steering on. See size checked. And it has parking brake. Uh, your damper off. Oh, sorry, it's off. Need to turn it on. If you're generator off, so that's uh, good. Next one is taxi, so we're ready for taxi. Uh, so just check out. So we're going to take off two seven, which is this one. So we're just going to taxi left down to this point here. We're going to take off. So it's a fairly easy taxi. Let's just accelerate a little bit. See. No wheel steering works, and the brakes works. Set our lights. Tax lights. Fuel balance is, let's see, it needs to take a fuel. So there, it seems it's 65, it's good. Must the reverses. Then I'm going to check that. Um, and your instruments checked, agreed. Lab set for takeoff. That's also here. Okay, so next check this this lineup. We're gonna taxi first. So it's a pretty cool thing. I mean they definitely have it's definitely a cool plane. And the thing I was I as I said in the beginning, I switched, so I I removed, I had one screen that was acting up, so I actually took that away, so now I just have one screen, and um, which works out pretty cool. Um, but it, it did improve my uh, performance quite a lot, not quite a lot, a lot. And, and then I installed another plugin, which was like a few, uh, a FES, boost plugin for X-Plane. So now I've got like 40, almost 50 frames per second on this plane, which is pretty amazing. Let's see where we're going. We need to go here. No, that's the wrong way. We're going the wrong way here. Oh no, I need to go, yeah, I need to go here and then go left on hotel. So. So what I did, what happened was that I actually, had, at least in this one, uh, not in all planes and not in all airports, but in this I got a pretty gigantic 
boost of uh, performance. Was a wide turn, sorry. Which is pretty awesome. I can show you actually. Go in here, go frame rates. I got 39, 40, which is pretty awesome for. Go to outside, I got over, over 50, and I don't have the best computer. I don't have the best graphics card. Uh, I have a pretty high setting, and still gets really cool, really good performance. So that's a pretty amazing thing. I mean, 40, I, I don't get 40 in, X, in FS 2004. So maybe it's time to do the switch. Just need to find some more planes for X plane, which I, I would be satisfied with. Maybe invest in some good payware. I have a lot of payware for X plane, by the way. Let's see, so I don't miss the spot where we're gonna turn. Nope. It's one, two, so two more. Not next one, but the next one. Not the next one, but the one after that. So actually, I should set up my. This is where we should be sitting. If I follow this thing, that can't be true. If I were to follow that one, that would be my position. And it is. If these line up, this you will get the same side picture. Well, that would be weird. I'm going with this one. So, so this is the first one. So next one. These should line up. So I c it should this shouldn't see this because this is in the way. Then I'm in the correct position. So I'm gonna do it from here. This looks more realistic. We're at 40, I mean almost 40 frames per second, that's pretty amazing. So it's not a long flight, by any means. Um, but it will take us now a good hour, more than an hour, because we're actually doing a checklist and stuff as we should. So, go down here, uh, we'll pretend we have... Uh, Should be out here. He's out here. And I will turn on the strobe lights. We line up. So now we two seven. Check. And turn on our fucking and break. Set. Uh, let's see how to turn this on. Oh, good. Okay, so let's do the lineup checklist. Uh, cabin signs are uh, cycle is on. Probe center eyes are on. Lights and strobes are on. Transponder on. Seacast checked. Project if you're generally off, that's the one thing I need to. Was on, should turn it on. And the next checklist after takeoff checklist. So, are we ready for takeoff? Just gonna show you the outside. It's pretty cool plane. These are default liveries, by the way. Can't see much because we're here. Okay. Just gonna set myself up for takeoff. Fucking break off.
Another white set for crews. Take off. Oh. Oh. Swerving. And rotate. Up to brakes. Gear up. Slides. No, we'll turn, accelerate, turn on our way. going south right turning left there is that the altimetry for a three four zero thousand feet like a rocket. Let's continue on our way here. And she can just fly in a straight line. It's climbing really well. Extremely, extremely well. Oh, sorry. Except when I level off like that. So, um, climb power set. Thousand feet, lights off. And turn the seat back light off. Oh. Not that good at this. So it's okay. I'm trying tr trimming the ailerons now, so I can keep keep it level. About that, we're gonna go uh, flight change for the pilot and nav. So now it's turning to intercept our routing there. And we could increase our speed though. To or 290 because we're way off above 10,000 feet. So we'll climb at 290. So that's accelerating. We're above the clouds. It was a warm day, so we didn't need to turn on any NTIs. And on for now anyway. So we can do our checklist. This is probably why you have two people usually in these. So landing gear is up and off. It's up, tax lights are off. And there is a square and thus levels a climb. The climb detent. Left hydraulics pumps off. 
Why are those off? Why should those be off? I guess they should be off. It says off. Um, bleeds are as they should. The uh, hydraulics. Presentation is set. It's climbing. And APU is shut down. CKS is set. Next is flight eight zero. So we'll do that. Ultimers. Right here. Two nine nine two. Two max checked. Camera signs is required. Exterior lights as required. Uh, and next is our descent checklist for 18,000 feet. So, you get a good climb rate. I mean, 3,000 feet per minute. Pretty good. I put the sink on. Where's the sink? Oh, it's sink to on. I should have turned that on or off, which I didn't. So. so 277, we can plan our arrival, actually. This is quite a short flight. See, so we're going to. Oh, what is it? It's quite strong wind there. Ew. We're too far out. Tick. It's a traffic TKS off. I don't. It's not. It's actually on. Oh, sorry. I'm an idiot. And it's not showing traffic. That's probably why it's off. Radar in here. So, rear F and here rear F. Okay, lower this. So, 200 if we're going to do an ILS approach. Uh, we can turn off fixes. Oh, no, sorry. Airport's okay. PR's okay. Navies. I don't need those. Okay, so. That's pretty cool plane. I haven't flown this a lot. I have flown it a little bit. It's a really good plane and I should have flown it a ton more because it's such a good plane, a good model. I haven't. So, so the Really problem not oh, I don't get why should I turn it off? It should be an auto, I think. It's weird that it wants me to turn it off. I don't know why though. So we're getting close to our top climb. Can check out where they're on sky vector though. So the weather is 035 at 5 knots. And QNH 1015, so we can actually go in here and change our setting to inches. The best call, so. And 1015 it will be 035, so we'll 
plan out of that one. Rival to ILS12. Go that table. Sounds good. Execute. Let's check our left place. So Radoc Fable. That's pretty awesome. Good. So we have our arrival plan and we are reaching V0. No, it's slowing down here. Slowing down still like a thousand meter per minute. So it's not that slow. Don't know why I had this checklist up here. There should be easy display. We're in the summary. Summary is good. The eye switch is off. Oh, okay. Let me go with the summary there and. Happen. Bank. Thing is, I want to see just a map. So how do I get just a map? Terminal. If I can just get the map, maybe it's here. Normal. This is just normal. I would you like to just play the map? Here. No. No. Range on it. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I should switch to. I don't know what the typical cruise speed is for this though. Okay, so we're here, we can set our cruise detent. I think that's pretty much too fast in a way. Should press the tow guy if you want. It's a really detailed plane. Cool plane. Two forty five will be a bit. Take a look at the outside. Can't see much of the outside because it's dark and it's night. Crap weather. But if you could see it, it would be pretty awesome. <laughs> um so I'm thinking the landing, I don't know if you want to see the landing. Wish I could fast forward a bit. Descent, top of descent is in 290, 440, sorry, in 3. Uh, we're, we're not going to record the whole thing. It's boring. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been first. Of all, if you just follow the checklist, landing is not a big deal either. So it's a little. Well, it's, it's a cool plane. You should try it out. D Den Challenger 300. You can find it off the org store. Um, I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. 
Or if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. But anyway, have a great day. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.